Okay, super cool art video today. I'm going to take these four colors and I'm gonna do, I don't know what it's called, like a, a cup pour, but it's a little bit different because it's moving, but it's not a moving cup pour. But I'm gonna take the lids off of these and get to it. So I'm gonna start with, I want purple to be the biggest color in it, so I'm gonna start with that. I'm gonna pour it in like that. And then I'm gonna go with this, um, it's, it's like kind of like a cloud surf is what it's called. Right there. And then I'll go with this color, which is Tidal Wave Flash. A little bit of that, and then I'll do black next. And then we're gonna layer these again, more purple. More Cloud Surf. And then a little bit more turquoise. And I have enough, I have enough black paint in there that I don't need to add more. This is a really small canvas, so if I used this whole cup on it, it would be, it'd be a little too much. It's a little too much paint. And then I'll put a little bit of this down just to help with everything. This is kind of the way I'm gonna be moving it across, across the canvas. Um, basically what I, what I do is I dump it out slowly and then start moving it back and forth in a zigzag pattern until I get to the other side. So I'm gonna start right here, kind of dumping, and move back and forth in a zigzag pattern to the end, and then start moving back, and sometimes do two or three, do two or three uh, passes. And then sometimes I take the cup and splatter it, so it kind of adds a little bit more to it, but I think I'm just gonna leave the lines on this one, so. So just like this, you could start the, start the pour. And you don't wanna do it really high, you wanna do it kind of lower, that way the colors don't mix as well. And then just start going back and forth while pouring. Just like that. And then go back the other way. Just like that. And I can already tell I used way too much paint, but it'll be cool, it'll look good. And take the extra paint, put it on the sides. That'll help it run along the canvas. Pull this up and then we're ready to, ready to pour. I like to grab the canvas underneath and on inside and underneath the wood. That way I can let all the edges get covered. And then I'll go ahead and pour a little bit Get it off right there, right there, go that way, and then go back this way. And that's pretty much it. I like that. It's really, um, it looks really uniform, which I like. I like it when it looks purposeful, you know? But, I don't know, it all looks cool. <laughs> if it looks like an accident, then that can be cool too, but. Yeah, let's get a, I'm gonna pop some of these air bubbles and then let's take a closer look at this. I'm gonna fill up the torch real quick. See that little bubble right there, we can pop it. It's mostly purple, which is, which is what I wanted. And it's, uh, it's really cool. I use this paint called Drizzle Spin Drip Pour. It's really good, I, I like it a lot. Check this out, it's pretty cool, I like that a lot. Yep, it looks really cool. 